I was born in McAllen, Texas. I was born to Mexican immigrants, so I worked uh, in the field alongside my parents and my brother and sister at that time. And um, it was hard work. Experienced a lot of poverty. In my early childhood, most of the time I was outdoors and I had a penchant for exploration. And I think that curiosity early on, that's what really got me started in the uh, subject of science. Um, my favorite subject was biology. I had a wonderful biology teacher. He really mentored me throughout high school, so I really looked up to him. And this was something that carried on into my college career. Luckily, there were a lot of diversity in science programs that offered um, compensation for doing research. And I really took a liking to research thereafter. Our job uh, as teachers, as administrators, as part of the Bruin family, is to try to make sure that we create an equal learning environment. So I think that there's multiple barriers to students that are historically underrepresented in the sciences. It is fair to say, however, that maybe opportunities have not been the same for all immigrants from all countries. They can be scientists just like anybody else can. They've never actually had an example of someone who looks like them in a position as a teacher. Diversity in science is super important because we need the perspectives of our community. Can we actually create an environment where people can actually see that they belong? That is a hard thing to overcome. If you can't see yourself in those positions, Jorge's impact on inclusivity has been absolutely awesome. And I think especially in this department, chemistry and biochemistry, um, what I think about the most for Jorge is how many undergraduate students from underrepresented backgrounds. I think he's one of the most impressive colleagues across the campus in terms of inclusivity. I'm so lucky to have mentors in my life, like Dr. Torres, who genuinely believes in the full potential of every student. He has not only been a mentor to me, but most importantly, a sponsor. His outreach is effective. He engages a diverse community of undergraduates, graduates, and postdoctoral fellows. He really deserves a lot of credit for UCLA being a place where science is uh, really practiced by such a diverse uh, group of students and postdocs. So as a Mexican-American, I can relate to him. Yes. Um, he is a professor who has helped not only improve cell biology, but also the path of many students. My lab's research focuses on the enzymatic activities that coordinate to build the mitotic microtubule spindle during cell division. I think almost everybody in the lab uh, individually has their own fellowship, which, which is really inspiring. So he's done an incredible amount to make sure that uh, students really feel like they belong and that he can actually connect with the students with honest feedback so that they can actually grow. So the ASCB uh, prize money will be used to create opportunities for underrepresented students to do research in my laboratory. The money will also be used to do outreach activities at local K-12 schools. Nominating Jorge for this award was a no-brainer. Congratulations, Dr. Torres, on your achievements. Congratulations, Professor Torres. You really deserve this kind of recognition and for everything that you do to help here at UCLA and throughout the nation, congratulations again.